Now I noticed in the most recent live stream there were no moderators and there were a couple trolls in the chat room causing disruption. I wanted to give my advice on how to deal with the trolls and hopefully everybody in the chat room can be on the same page and do this. If there's no moderators, because I cannot moderate, I cannot watch the chat room when there's a bunch of people in it and give a presentation on a video at the same time. If I pull up the chat room, the video will stop. And in the most recent live stream, all I did was show a video. So I had to watch the video. That's why I wasn't really active in the chat room. I can't even pull up the chat room to look at it when I'm playing a video. right? I want people to remember that because I see people trying to talk to me in the live stream, trying to get my attention, not when I'm doing a video. So if there's a situation like that, because I want to show more parts of that video and there are no moderators, this is what I want you to do. Go to their name, just like you see my cursor here. You see those three dots up here, and just block them. Now, their message will be hidden. Now, you don't even have to ignore them. You know, because I was about to, you know, just advise people. I have advised people in the past to just ignore them. Now you don't even have to do that. Their message won't even show up. And I believe uh, my subscribers are smart enough to pull this off. They don't need moderators. I, I think y'all smart enough to not even need to call the trolls out. Don't even give them any attention. I ran across this article. I thought it was a good article. And I wanted to share it with you all. He gives his advice. Sounds like a content creator. Three tips for dealing with trolls. He says, one, identify, but don't name someone a troll. He points out how it could be a neutral person. And when you accuse them of being a troll, now they might actually feel the need to live up to that. Now they might become a troll just because you accused them of it. Or it might be a supporter of the channel and who just said something off right and that happens but two he says don't engage with the troll in direct confrontation don't go back and forth with them because see that makes them feel like they're just as smart as you are because if you respond to them then they're going to think well i must have said something that's intelligent enough that made them want to respond. And they can't do that. These dog nuts can't, cannot do that. And they hate the fact that we have meaningful discussions because they don't. All they talk about is dogs and all this fantasy stuff of dogs being the greatest thing ever. Well, we have real meaningful historical Right, standard discussions of any civilization of any era. The basics is staying healthy and safe, protecting your communities. They hate that. So if they can come in, and anybody who gets off on being a troll, this is a low IQ, low vibration type person. I cannot find any pleasure in being a troll if you get off on being a troll you're a low iq individual so you know i don't want to disable my chat room during the stream and that would be a victory for the trolls in their mind if they can make any of you leave the chat room that's a victory in their mind this is how they think. They're extremely childish. And you have to treat them like kids who want attention because that's all they want. Attention. 
like this guy here wrote. He said, you often hear, don't feed the trolls. And if your community has a web savvy audience, they should already be familiar with this advice. The thought behind this advice is that responding to the antics of trolls encourages them to continue being disruptive. Like I said, why does it encourage them to continue being disruptive? It's because they feel like they've won victory. You responded to me. You showed me some attention. Right? You cannot show these people any attention. Trolls will purposefully not listen to logic. And they don't care to abide by rules. If you see people in your community engaging in verbal wars with trolls, remind them that ignoring them is the best course of action. Right? And that's what I've said. And But even better is to simply block them. Because that will tell the troll that the audience is too powerful for them to disrupt. This group is too mentally strong for me to troll. If they see you react to them, now they feel like, oh, now I'm on their level or I have brought them down to my level. They're not as mentally strong as I thought. They're not as mentally powerful as they come across, right? You have to outthink these people and trust me, my followers, you can outthink them in your sleep, in your sleep, but you have to, first of all, think, don't react, don't react. Remove, dismiss emotions and function. You have to act act on these people. Operate. You have to make moves. And whatever you do, do not try to have a debate with them. Right? Uh, in my recent live streams, my most recent, there have been some dog nuts who left comments. And I didn't respond. Now, a few people respond, responded. But like I said, I don't respond to people like that. Because all it is is like personal insults, sarcasm, or they're being condescending. And like I always said, that strengthens my argument. They had opportunity to debunk something, but they couldn't, obviously, because if they could, they would. So they had to fall back on ad hominem attacks. That is a L for them. That's a loss. And it strengthens my arguments. So just a bit of advice, right? Block them. I, I hope that people will block them, right? That way, it's like having a moderator still there. You know, because it's only a few people who post in the uh, chat room anyways. Right? What, 10, 20 people? Like 20, 30 people? Everybody that's in the chat room don't actually post messages. Most people just listen. Right? So if we get 20, 30 people to hit that block button, uh, that will send a strong signal to not only that troll, but it'll discourage other trolls. You see, if you react to them, that will embolden other trolls. Like, hey, look how easy it is to disrupt this chat room. Here, let me go do it, right? So just a bit of advice. I enjoyed this most recent live stream, but I did not enjoy that it was disrupted. So going forward, hopefully uh, we can deal with it better if it happens than we did this time. So until next time, as we continue with this crusade against these worthless mutants and their enabling owners.